the contrary, PDP is actually a responsible opposition. Because what people are doing today is to try to compare PDP with that contraption called APC at the point at which they were not in power. They were totally irresponsible and said so many things that people expect that we will regurgitate the same thing and do the same way that they did. We are not. We had been in power before and we know the responsibilities of having power and we do not want to speak just like anybody on the street. So we weigh our words, we look at the situation, and we also want to be an opposition that does not want to destroy, rather an opposition that wants to build. At the point that APC was here, all they wanted to do was to tear down Nigeria. And that is why they even left here and went to another country to solicit from the United States against their own government. Now, unfortunately for the APC, they are now begging the same people that they wanted to help to tear this country to come to rescue them from their inefficiencies and incompetencies. And so, so now, I can just go ahead, but I will stop there. And on your, the last part of your question, which has to do with, uh, uh, with uh, I, I think that no one in Nigeria wants Nigeria to break up. The people that want Nigeria to break up, just like you have seen, in the, uh, the press conference by our chairman, are those that refuse, are those that we have told that they should manage our diversity and have refused to let somebody from the South, East, like the chairman has said, to have any say at all in the security of this nation. Those that want to break up this country, are those that have made nepotism an uh, essential part of government. Are those that have made ethnic, and let me repeat it, ethnic triumphalism that only one part of this country is important enough and only one religion matters. So those that refuse to manage our diversity are those that are actually pushing us to the precipice. But like the government has said, God forbid. <laughs>